for today's Food Beast recipe challenge, we're building unique charcuterie boards. I'm a huge fan of seafood, so naturally I made what's called a seacuterie board. And yes, I am using a wooden surfboard. Starting off in the middle, I'm laying down some cocktail sauce and some cooked shrimp. Right below is some fried calamari. And then two bowls, one for seaweed salad and one for crab salad. Adding some cooked octopus tentacles at the bottom, and now it's time for a smoked salmon rose. You can use any small glass to form the rose and then just flip it upside down to place. Next, I'm adding some fresh tuna, ceviche, crab legs, and some smoked salmon cream cheese. Yup, smoked salmon flavored cream cheese. Doing some final touches with cucumbers and avocado, and then the board is all done. My family and I devoured this seacuterie board in about 10 minutes. It was very refreshing. Check out my sweet and spicy charcuterie board. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make some delicious Rice Krispie treats. I'm gonna pour it into the pan. Oh yeah, look at that marshmallow stretch. Then I'm gonna use my cookie cutters to create, you guessed it, the Food Beast logo. First thing I'm gonna do with my mini cupcakes is inject some Mike's Hot Honey. Now I'm gonna throw some flaming Hot Cheetos in my food processor, grind those up. I'm gonna add some red sugar sprinkles. Next, I'm gonna roll those cupcakes into my Hot Cheeto topping. I'm gonna roll some cheesecake bites in the same. I'm gonna add some mango chutney and add this delicious chili pineapple. Then I'm gonna get my board ready. I'm gonna add in lots of sweets, some candy, some Red Hot, some Sour Belt, some Red Starburst all the sweets gotta have my takis my hot cheetos oh yeah look at that it's sweet it's spicy just what every dessert needs and that's it food beast fam it is a hit let's make a lebanese charcuterie we'll start with this giant kibbe as the centerpiece and surround it with some classic hummus time for bay to join the tray lebanese garlic dip or tom i ended up borrowing some hamara from syria and i added some beef and chicken shawarma bites because shawarma is a must you can skip stuffed vine leaves and falafel obviously and middle eastern pickles of course some manaish zaatar a little bit of bouli not tabbouleh fried pita bread honestly i would take batata harra over fries any day some maene which is bite sized sausage with pomegranate and pesos some light fat touche and the dressing on the side I ended up adding more pickles and batata harra. Final touches with a drizzle of pomegranate molasses over the giant kibbe. A little bit of olive oil on top of our yummy dips. Please don't hate on me, but I forgot to add the labne and safaya halu. Here's some fresh pomegranate seeds, so you could forgive me. Some lemon wedges. I'm curious to know which item on this tray you haven't tried before. And there you have it. Charcuterie board! Today we're building a bun me charcuterie board inspired by the ones I've seen online. So here's how to build one. First up, we got the buttery Vietnamese mayo. You could also use regular mayo and some pate. Then we got pickled carrots and daikon that my lovely mom made for me. Thanks, mom. And now we're gonna fill up the board with some meat. First up, we got fried pork roll or jia jing and some steamed pork roll, aka jia luo. Next up, filling up the board with some sliced cucumbers, some jalapenos, and up next is the barbecue pork or sasu. Can't forget the sliced baguettes. And then fill out the leftover spaces with some cilantro and some more meat, and you got yourself a bun mi charcuterie board. Pretty genius idea, super fun. You can make tiny bun mi bites and it's so good. These were our four unique charcuterie boards. Let us know which one was your favorite down in the comments. Mm.